So look, I just, uh, I just stopped. I was going home, and there's cops running all over the place. They're like circling the block and stuff here. So they're looking for something or someone, right? Probably for a reason that's that's not very good, although you never know. But what I did is I just pulled up here and uh, pulled in the parking lot. I'm just stopping for a minute just to observe. And, and this is a good thing to do. First of all, it trains us to observe our public officials. Second of all, it lets them know we're watching, right? Especially in this town. I mean, the, the sheriffs, the police here, they know that I observe them. And so if they know I'm watching, that does affect the behavior of an officer when they know they're being observed and held accountable. And while I, I doubt I'll end up interacting with them, it's just a good policy. It's a good policy to watch, to love your neighbor. When you got a bunch of police running around, right? And people are gonna say, oh, they're out there helping people. Actually, police are the largest cr criminal organization in America. They're the largest gang of criminals, extortioners, and thugs that exists in America, and that's a fact. They, they steal more than burglars, guys. And so, being that we don't have any officers that were on, will honor their oath, we have to recognize that they are a criminal gang, that they are a criminal element, and we have to observe them as such. We only have so much power to stop what they do, and it doesn't mean that they don't ever stop bad things either, right? Even, even a gang wants order on their turf. But it does mean that we should use our cameras, we should use our, our courage to just observe and watch all the time so that we can try and restore some accountability and teach people that it's okay to observe, it's okay to question, it's okay to watch. Because we know that the blue line has turned against the Constitution in every conceivable way. And the, the solution for that right now is we need to speak out, we need to use our voice, we need to use our cameras to watch out for our neighbor. I just wanted to shout that out, and I doubt we're going to see much more here because I'm not seeing much happening. But I uh, just wanted to explain why I stop, why it's important. And this guy here, he's just kind of, he's over there, and he's they're hiding around here. They're, they must be looking for somebody. So he's got his lights off, right, I guess, hoping that they'll walk out. But they've just been crawling all over the place here. Now, now he came over to the parking lot that I'm parked in, right? He's letting me know that he knows that I know that he knows or something like that. So it's interesting because the the police in this town, they won't follow me, right? If they see me pull out, they'll actually turn down a side street before I, I pull over and make them pass because I won't allow them to follow me and they know that and that's a good tactic as well. And so when I'm watching, they know it. Oh, Gavin's watching. I mean, they're probably on the radios warning each other, right? And I'm not here to interfere as long as they're not violating anybody. Because just because our police are the largest criminal element in the nation, and this isn't hyperbole, guys. I mean, this is a fact. The, the police system stole, steals more money, more property without due process from people than, than burglars and criminals do. Not to mention the, the people that are killed on the side of the road without due process, all the illegal fines and, and citations and arrests and the violation of due process in the courts and their refusal to honor their oath. And so there's always this, this theme. It doesn't mean they never, ever do any good. It just means that uh, we, have to, we have to have a strong standard. There he is. See, now he's, now, he's, now he's driving around me, right? He's driving around. <laughs> and... Uh, to me, this is good though, right? I don't want to get into it with them. I don't, I don't want to interfere if they are doing something good. I just want them to know I'm watching. So it's not a hate thing for police. I hate what our, what our police have become, what the blue line has become and how corrupt it's become, but I don't hate these individual guys. They're the hero of their own story. They, they've convinced themselves they're the good guy, but the truth is they're out, they're out violating people by maintaining vigilance and a watch and, and letting them know how we feel and speaking out, it makes it makes them reminded. The more of us do it, the more of them are reminded that we recognize that what they do is not okay, that it's not being done right, that it's not being done in a way that follows the law, and it also emboldens us to know that it is right to watch our government. So I think we'll let this one go for tonight. I don't see uh, anybody being beaten or abused or anything like that. And I know people are going to say, oh, Gavin, you're such a jerk. You're such a jerk. If you think I'm a jerk for watching police, you don't know what freedom is. That's all there is to it. And we've got to come together. We've got to stand up. Got to love our neighbor. Got to watch out for each other and protect each other. You guys have a good night.